All right, what's up, everybody? Welcome back, American Trucking Sim. I finally have John Ruta's Ram, which I'm super excited about. Every time I do this, I can never remember how to get rid of that. There we go. Got it. So, yeah, we got the Ram. I'm super excited about it. It's a really cool mod. Uh, we're taking uh, Baco. Uh, we're in California, and we're going into Arizona. So, uh, hopefully you guys come along the journey here in this new beautiful Ram, and we'll fire it up. Wait, guys, let's do it. All right, let's get in the cab here and get going. I haven't played this in a while, so it's going to be interesting. <laughs> Also, I haven't really driven this truck a whole lot. I think I did like one small run with it. We'll have to get gas. Hopefully I can get out of there. This way. Doesn't look like I can, so I'm thinking I'm gonna actually I'm gonna back up. Make sure this trailer's not gonna catch anything here. I don't see my trailer. Okay. Hopefully we can swing this. Oh, uh, yeah, we got plenty of room. There we go. It's always good when you struggle to leave the place. I think there's a way to go up and around, but I wasn't really sure, so I didn't want to didn't want to mess with it. Steering wheel is already off-centered. See if I can fix it here. Probably not, but worth a shot. It's off just a little bit. Ah, screw it. We'll just figure it out going down the road. All right. Let's get going on this journey here. Yeah, it seems like these uh, pickup trucks. The wheel always gets off-centered for me for some reason. Very cool truck, though. You did an amazing job. Looks so good. Sounds nice. Rides nice. All the above. I'm excited. Show it to you guys. It doesn't seem to run like a real automatic. It's like... I don't know. Maybe it's the settings I have. But... Make sure my lights are actually on. Okay, my lights are on now. Oh, this is gonna be super fun to... We're just gonna have to hope... Somebody lets us in. I like how they're blocking both. Thank you. I like how this truck has a like a 18 wheeler horn. Kind of makes me laugh. Only thing I'll say about this, it does feel a little overpowered. But that's all right. Got that big Hemi in it, you know? Gotta make up, gotta make it feel like you got a lot of power. Looks like we're gonna be doing some nighttime driving today. Pretty long trip, so we'll get a little bit longer of a video today. Been playing a lot of multiplayer games with my buddy. You guys been hopefully enjoying those. Uh, figured we'd still bring these to the channel as well. Been having a lot of fun playing with my friends. But been, uh, haven't played this in a while, so I figured we'd uh, bring this to the channel since I got the John Ruta stuff. Had the John Ruta pack for a while now, I just 
I didn't have the wheel hooked up. I didn't feel like hooking the wheel up, so I didn't, essentially. This truck does feel really touchy all over the road. I think I'm going to mess with my settings really quick and I'll be right back, guys. All right, we're back. Get that off the screen. I just feel like my steering was off. It is off, but it was also just being really... I kind of hate how this truck shifts. This is incredibly loud in my headset. I don't know how loud it's going to come across on here. Like, it doesn't need to shift down right there, but it's all right. <clears throat> I think it might be a setting I need to adjust as well. What the? That lane's for slow traffic only. These cars are just passing me on it. I'm going to get all the way over then. No, I'm not. Oh, my God, dude. Why are people passing me on the right? That is, like, my biggest pet peeve in this game. It's my fault I should have looked, but, like... <clears throat> People try to pass me on the right all the time. They do it in real life, too, and it's like... That's a big no-no. Already damaged the ram, guys. This truck feels all over the place. Might just be me, because I don't know how to drive, but... Probably find a gas station soon and just fill her up and then continue going. I turn the truck steering sensitivity down a little bit, see if that'll help. Looks like we're possibly getting off here. Can't quite tell. Guess we'll find out here in a second. Looks like, uh, this thing technically has an engine brake. I don't know how realistic those are. I know these, like, 3500s and F350s and stuff are made for towing. So they might have an engine brake built in, but... <clears throat> Cause I guess you guys that have them will be able to tell me if there's, like, an actual engine brake or not. I know my, uh, 1500, uh, my Chevy 1500 has, like, a grade braking, so it does shift down and, like, help you... Go down hills, especially if you have a trailer. So, I don't know. I'll have to let me know if you guys have one of these trucks. <laughs> Do need to get over. Looks like they're giving us room here. I try not to speed in this truck because it can be overpowering. I might have to turn the limiter on or something just when I'm driving this truck. I'm just trying to be cautious. <clears throat> it would probably help me to drive this truck in the daytime a few times too. Because at nighttime I feel like I'm having trouble staying in the middle of my lane. The steering is really sensitive. Like I'm barely turning the wheel. I'll have to mess around in my settings see what's uh, going on with them but I also feel like my headlights are never bright enough I guess they're really bright and obviously I'm blinding everyone but I don't know maybe we'll mess around some settings and go from there I'm also thinking about uh, bringing back college basketball I guess we'll uh, wait and see I have an idea in my head. I'm gonna try to do. It. I don't know if it'll work or not, so we'll kind of go from go from there. Oh, 
Oh, good old drive. I'm trying to think uh, what's going on in my life. Oh, I'm going to be building a 400EX. So, I might do a video on it. I don't know. I don't really do anything real, like real life, IRL related, but maybe we'll do a series of that. It's going to take me a long time. It's probably going to take me all summer because I have literally no parts for it. This is going to cost a lot of money, so I'm going to do it slowly. Hopefully it turns out good. Me and my wife both used to race. Uh, we've talked about getting back into it. I don't know if we will or not. This one house we got our eye on right now has got quite a bit of land, so I'll at least be able to ride there. I just miss riding. Took a lot of stress away when I feel stress. Stress reliever. Also kept me in shape. So, might try to get back into it. There we go. I was like, this thing really needs to shift into six gear. They'll be building a 400EX. Uh, depending on what I'm going to do is going to depend how I'm going to build it. Because uh, if I'm going to race, I'm putting aftermarket suspension and that kind of stuff on it. Um, if I'm not going to race, I'm just going to ride. I'll probably just go with some stock stuff. So if I'm racing, I'm going to try to put Fox floats on it. I don't, they're expensive, though, so I don't know if I'll be able to afford that. But... Makes a big difference, man. It's just so much more comfortable. See a gas station coming up here. We'll just have to get off the highway, so I might might pop off and get those. I also thought about just doing that. It's like buying these four wheelers that are all beat up and just trying to give them some life. Especially the Hondas, man. The Hondas are just dead. Nobody buys them anymore. All the pros and stuff around Yamaha is the only company that makes four wheelers. Which is also really frustrating. The four-wheeler scene, especially in cross-country racing, seems like it's gotten really big. So, I don't understand why this, these companies don't make the... Especially Honda. I don't get why Honda doesn't make a 450. They make a 90, and they make a 250. So, like, why would they not just make the, the 450 still? <clears throat> I'm watching, like, all the old GNCCs lately, too. They're, uh... Like, the Pro Series... From back like 2011, 2010, <clears throat> essentially when Chris Borich was really dominant. Um, and you would see four different manufacturers in the top four. Back then, Can-Am was really big. Uh, Borich was on the Suzuki. Uh, Yamaha was up there. KTM was up there at times. It was cool to see. Had a couple Hondas. Put that on way too early. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't know. Maybe give some of these quads some life. I feel like it's going to cost me money, though, so I don't know. This would be really tricky getting in here without a, like, with a full big rig. Kind of glad it's just this pickup truck. Grab a little midnight snack. Don't hit the poles. Turn the truck off. Fill her up. Damn, six dollars for gasoline. Well, diesel technically. That was quick. Hundred and seventy-three dollars. Big old back over. I was just looking at first too. I'm like, is this gonna fit? And it looks like it's gonna have plenty of rooms. So that's good. Sing and drive and keep on going. A lot of our journey left here. Like I said, it's probably be a bit of a longer, longer video, but that's all right. I feel like a, another thing I'm kind of struggling with the driving is the steering wheel. My steering wheel is off center just a little bit, it's like just enough to irritate me. So, uh, I'll have to, I don't know, find a fix for that in the settings. Cause it seems like these, uh, hot shot trucks keep doing it to me. Get back on the highway. Put the hammer down. But if you guys are into four wheelers and maybe know of a good website to find refurbished and stuff parts, you know, drop it below. Let me know. <clears throat> and if I start racing, maybe I'll get a GoPro and do. Uh, as long as I'm not an AMA, I can. 
AMA doesn't allow videos anymore. Oh my god, dude. They like do not let you on the on-ramp in this game. <laughs> Very annoying. Fix my headset. Yeah, AMA doesn't allow uh, any type of videos. That's why you see like, I don't know if GNCC is still AMA. They might be. I'm not sure. But yeah, that's why you don't see a lot of GoPro footage anymore. It's kind of annoying. But, it's all good, I guess. I'm really hoping we get this property we're looking at. We've seen, I don't know, probably in between five and ten houses. And they're just... The houses in our area just aren't good, man. They want a lot of money for these really crappy houses. This one doesn't look too bad. House is pretty good shape. It's on like five to six acres. It's got a barn out back, big garage out front. I'm thinking I could turn the barn into like maybe a shop for the four wheelers. And then uh, have the garage for the personal vehicles. So, we'll see. Sure, nobody's coming on. Dude, it is so dark in this game at nighttime. <laughs> That's alright. Look, we're always driving at night. I have to like pop this thing in the neutral and the drive just to get it to go into sixth gear. It's kind of annoying. Because it just sits there in fifth and goes, Warp! like super loud, man. Doesn't seem necessary, but. It's all good. Even if I do race, thinking back on it, I probably won't get Fox floats. They're really, they're like $1,300 for the front shocks, man. But I'll probably get some type of aftermarket shock with a reservoir instead of stock. Stock is just brutal if you're trying to race. But I'm super excited about that build. It's going to give me some fun project to do this summer. So, and then my wife's four wheeler, she got a 300 EX, another Honda. And uh, I think we just got to rebuild the motor on that one. I gotta rebuild a 400 motor that my father-in-law thinks he has too. I'll have to go over and see, see what he's got. All got over there. I think I'm just gonna put the hammer down a little bit here. As long as we got, got any two. Don't got, man I can't talk. Don't have super sharp bends. There we go. Let's try to get this a little quicker. I'm waiting for that cop to bust me in front of me. Turbo Blast sounded pretty cool. <laughs> that sounds really cool. I don't know if I'd want to ever drive for a living, man. I was doing it at my job, but I've, had to, I've gotten promoted like twice since that driving job I got, so... I'm on the phones all day now, which is... Good and bad, I guess. Comes more money. But then I have to talk with a lot of people. <laughs> Some of these people's questions, man. You want to hear dumb questions? Go work at a dealership. Yeah. I'm enjoying it. Uh, comes with more money and bonus structure, so hopefully that bonus money can come in clutch building this four-wheeler. <laughs> so wait and see, you know. I really want to get everything in my cart and I like eBay and price it out and see if it's even worth doing so I probably could just go find another one cheap and fix it up but it's tough to say hope you guys are enjoying the like GTA stuff we've been doing lately got some role playing going on some fun stunt races and stuff I've been really enjoying it so, hope you guys are too. If you guys want more ATS content, make sure you hit the like button. Let me know. Keep doing it. Just pain in the butt just because I got to take the wheel on and off all the time. But if I get this other house, I'll be able to uh, set up an office space. So, I guess look forward to that. Try to get around this truck. 
Yeah, I feel like, like I'm barely moving the steering wheel and it just really wants to float all over the place. Oh no. That's not good. Okay, we're okay. That didn't happen. I don't want to pull it in. I'm going to come in like super hot. Uh, trying to get around the truck. This is what I get. Yeah, no crap. My vehicle's not in perfect condition. I just hit a pole. I hit that pole kind of hard, too. Okay. Must have bumped my mouse. I'm coming out, man. I wish this game would update and how, and how AI merge, lets you merge. Because in real life, somebody's going to like move over and they're going to let you in there. But I guess it's not a huge deal. But it is what it is, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> not the end of the world. So I guess I'll just tell you guys in this video, and if you see it, you see it. So my idea... For the, co for the college basketball series is I was going to do like a series of me like going to college and just like I want to figure I know I can't just like do my player but I might just like have my guy to go to like a small school and put up like crazy stats we'll see it's also not going to be accurate like me I might just maybe we'll just make like a stud Maybe we'll go look at like recruiting and see who's who, who's like a top guy and just like model somebody after like their body size. I think it'd even be fun to like make a like a big forward that can like play making stuff. See what he could do in college. We'll see. This trip is a lot longer than I expected it to be. But that's okay. Shouldn't be too much longer. All right. Kind of sucks we just drove on the highway the whole time, but not the end of the world. I'm sure there's nobody coming over there, but I think I want to stay in this lane. I feel like we're going to be getting off soon. Maybe not. I don't know. Uh, I'm not getting off there. Yeah, this truck is all over the road, man. It feels so unsturdy. I think I need to mess with my settings. I have like two different settings for hot shot and then maybe I'll just make a hot shot in profile. I have different settings on that profile than this one. This truck's pretty cool though. We're flying right now. I was going to pass him, but I just feel like we're going to get off soon. I don't want to get stuck in that left lane. <laughs> you can see the destination. Oh my god, dude. Come on. That's ridiculous. He slammed on the brakes from 70 in the, the highway. Just merge, dude. No blinker. Blinker at the last second, dude. If that was real life, that would have definitely been his fault. 
just damaged this truck like a lot. Unbelievable. Kind of mad. <laughs> like, that's bullcrap, man. I'm slamming on the brakes. Nothing I can do. Oh crap. <laughs> That's what that is. 18 miles to go. Even less than that now. Good stuff. Gonna want to slow down coming into town. Probably got a sharp bend coming up soon, anyways. Knowing my luck. Come on. Almost there. I didn't really use a blinker there. But see, I got over fast, you know? How have I never gone to Phoenix in this game? Because I'm pretty sure this is my main, mo my main profile. I must have not spent a whole lot of time in Arizona. Because I think Arizo the time I got Arizona was the time I got another map. And, like, I just never really spent time here. We'll be okay. I wish I could shift this myself. It just, the shifting is weird. It doesn't make sense sometimes. A Pabo shop? Oh, Robo Shop. That makes more sense. Tell me to get over. Probably not there. Almost there. Part of me really wants to just run this red light. Let's go. I was hoping I could just coast long enough to get that. I feel like this truck feels like it has way too much power. Cause it just gets up and goes, man. I'm holding 30,000 pounds behind a pickup truck. I mean, it's 3,500, but still. Feels way too quick. No idea where I'm going to be dropping this. Let's see. I shut the blinker. I was just sick of listening to the blinker. Here we are. Station flag. Probably gonna be right to the, the right here. Yeah, I think I see it. Let me pulling this one in. It looks like. Looks like we'll be good there. Oh. Maybe. They're gonna take it. Sweet. Alright, that's gonna wrap up our trip here. Pretty long trip. I don't know how long the video will be, but I guess you guys will find out. But appreciate you guys watching. I uh, hope you guys enjoy the content lately. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time. Peace.